Hi, my name is Shelley Moore, and I'm a third year PhD student at the University of British Columbia in Vancouver. As Canadians, we have a reputation for finding and embracing the strength in our diversity. This value, however, hasn't been reflected in our classrooms, which still segregates students by ability, especially students with developmental disabilities. There's a gap in our understanding about what we know inclusive education to be, philosophically, versus what we understand and the importance of understanding inclusion in our practice. This is the question I'm trying to answer in my research, is how can we find the value in the day-to-day -day practice in our classrooms in terms of inclusive education? So how am I gonna explain this to you? Now I can sit here and try and describe this, or we could have a little bit more fun. Why don't we go bowling? So let's talk about bowling. You have 10 pins, you have two balls, and you have a lane. The goal is to knock down as many pins as you can. But if you don't get them all, it's okay because you have another chance. But when I bowl and roll the ball down the middle and I don't knock them all down, what often ends up happening to me is that there's two pins left standing on either end and they stare at you. It's the 7-10 split and it's the hardest shot in bowling. How is bowling like teaching? The ball was the lesson, the pins are the kids. We aim for the middle, we do the best we can, the pins that are left standing, we often have another chance to kind of get to them, but at the end of the day, those two pins that are staring looking at you are kids who need the most support and are kids who need the most challenge. So we end up choosing one and the other one is left standing. I just took all the fun out of bowling. Now I don't know how many times you've watched professional bowling, but I spent an afternoon watching professional bowling and let me tell you, there was not one bowler who rolled that ball down the middle of the lane. They throw the ball down the lane at a curve. And I was actually really curious about this, so I called up a professional bowler. He was so excited. I don't think he gets a lot of calls about education. He said the reason why the ball has to enter at a curve is because you will knock down more pins and create a bigger domino effect if you enter at that angle. But in order to do that, you have to change your aim. In order to knock down the most pins with one shot, he aims for the pins that are the hardest to hit. Now let's just let this sink in for a second. We are taught to teach the head pins. We are not taught to teach to the kids who are the furthest and the hardest to get to. The kids with autism, the kids with Down syndrome. The part that's critical here, and it really aligns with universal design for learning, is that so often, the supports that we design for those kids on the outside of the lane are actually supports that all of the kids need. This is the part we need to understand if inclusive education is going to move forward in Canada. How can we find this value of diversity in our classrooms between the students? This is not just important for the outside pens, but it's critical for every single one of us. And just think, all we need to do is change our aim. Look how bowling changed education.